Hey everyone, Steve here. I don't have a regular episode for you today, but I wanted to share something from a from a TV series I recently watched that I thought was inspirational and thought that it kind of applied to people who are deconverting, so I thought I wanted to share it with all of you. You can expect another episode to come out, another interview episode in the next couple weeks. I do have one um, that I just need to edit and I'll get that out, you know, when I can, but um, until then, uh, this is something I've been wanting to, to read to all of you because I thought someone would find it encouraging like I did. By the way, it is 4th of July here, so um, happy Independence Day to all of my fellow Americans. Uh, you may hear some fireworks going off in the background or my dog barking. That might happen. So, uh, I was watching a TV series on Netflix, and I won't, I won't spoil it, um, but I'm going to share a quote from it. So this TV series was uh, was a Spanish TV series based on um, a book by Harlan Coben, uh, who's an American author. But the the book itself or the story was made into a TV series for Netflix, uh, and it was done um, in Spanish or by a uh, they produ they produced it in Spain. It was I was reading the English subtitles. So I just wrote them all down, you know, the way they were in English, because when I read them, I just really liked it. So it's called El Innocente. I think that's how you say it. But just in English, The Innocent is the name of it. And if you like Netflix and you like thriller, like mystery type of TV series, then you'll probably like this. Uh, I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Um... You know, a lot of mystery, a lot of, like, you don't know what's going on, or you don't know who to trust, you know, those kinds of shows. Um, anyway, it was really good, but in this TV series, there's a lot of learning about people's past, and, like, people weren't maybe who you thought they were, you didn't know kind of about their past, and you kind of learn a lot about what some of these characters have gone through. And the show itself really doesn't have anything to do with deconversion or religion or anything like that. But uh, the way it relates to like us and what we've gone through as the converts uh, is in the sense that someone had a different past and they're looking to the future. They're looking to maybe how to live their life in the future and trying to process what they've gone through. So in that way, it really relates to us. And, and that's why I think this quote was really good. And it, um, you know, like I said, it, it's really inspired me and encouraged me and I thought it was cool. So I'm going to share with you guys today. Okay, so in one of the episodes, this is what one of the characters says. You'll learn to look to the future without the past hurting you, and you'll find a way to heal wounds you thought would never close. To find relief, you'll have to forge paths you've never imagined. Bit by bit, you'll sever ties with your past. You'll decide to help people, to help them build bridges over impassable chasms. You'll leave behind everything you were, and you'll think about everything you could become. And you'll decide to embrace this new life with all your might, until you finally feel like you have everything you want, what you've spent years fighting for, and then you'll know you don't need anything else to be happy.